Hey friends, this is Renee, Susie, Mercedes, and we're from Little Village Homestead. And today we're going to show you how we make pasties, one of Michigan's favorites. We'll be right back. <music> Okay, friends, in our pasties, we are going to do, I, people do them different ways, but this is how we do them. We use carrots, rutabagas, onion, potatoes, and I also mix beef and pork. So, I'm going to get chopping up my vegetables and get them all finely chopped, and then I'll bring you back when we get ready to put the pork in the burger and get it all put together. So, we'll be back. Okay, friends, I'm back. I've got my veggies all cut up in nice chunks. Here, I'll show you. Look at all them. Onions, rutabaga, carrots, and potatoes. That's all I got in there. That's all I put in my pasties. So, this, I do my meat. Now, some people take, like, a hunk of uh, flank steak, for example, and they'll chop it up and shred it up real fine and they'll use that for their filling. But I like um, burger and pork. I mix ground burger and ground pork together. And that's it. I heat this up and mix it with my vegetables and then I'm going to fill my pasties. I don't put anything else in here. I don't put no spices in with it. I just simply cook this my hands are all nice and clean, but I just simply cook this down just the way it is and leave it at that. So when this is done and I'm getting ready to mix it in with my veggies, I'll be back and we can mix that in and then we'll get started on our pasty. Friends, I am back and I have got my meat, as you can see, all cooked and drained and not all the way cool, but cooked and drained. And I know you're going to ask me why you cook it. You're going to bake it in the oven anyway. Well, I'm going to show you. I, remember, I use pork and beef. That's what I cooked out of it. See that bowl? I don't want that in my pastry. So, that's going to go over here to cool off. So that's why I cook it. Now, most certainly you don't have to if you don't want to, but I don't want a soggy mess. So I cook it and get it all drained and mix it right up in here. And this is going to be wonderful. Get this mixed around a little bit. Get this all mixed up and then we'll get our pastry dough going. Let's see. In here, I'm going to put, like I say, I never measure anything, a good tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Maybe a little more. Maybe it was more like two tablespoons. Anyway, and a little bit of my house seasoning. And that's it. That, my friends, is all I put in there. These are fantastic. And my family loves them. But you might be wondering why I'm making so many. Because I'm going to put them in my freezer. And I thought if I'm going to make my pasties to get in the freezer, then I might as well make a video on it. So, okay. Those are all mixed up. All right, now I'm going to leave that right there. And then we are going to, I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to start in on the pasty dough. So we'll be right back. Okay, friends, I'm back and we are getting ready to put our pasty dough together. So this is real easy to remember. 
because it's simply a three to one ratio. Three parts flour. three parts of flour then we're going to do one part of fat or two parts of fat and I've I combine the two I've got a uh, half of cup half of a cup of butter and I'm going to do the other and a half a cup of short so a cup of short and I'll put that in there. That's where we start. Then in this I'm going to take about a teaspoon of salt. That's it. Okay now I'm just going to take what are you laughing at? My daughter is out there just laughing hysterically. <laughs> Mom, not you. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's too funny. Okay, we're just going to cut this in the best we can. And once we get it all cut in here real good, then I'm just going to mix it with my fingers and get it real good. Okay? <laughs> she doesn't know she's going to be on video. Okay, I got that pretty well cut in. What is that, Nana? I am making pasty dough. Pasty dough? Actually, I forgot I had to take my rings off. Okay. See, you can come right here and see. Oh my God. See? Did I feel it? No. Why? Because you didn't wash your hands. You have to wash them. We're just going to mix this all in until it's almost like a bit of a cornmeal. So I'll be mixing this pretty good here. Alright, now I'm done washing my hands. Feel? Yeah? <laughs> and just mix it real good. Can I help us? <laughs> you are helping me. I've got a real nice helper. All right, I think that's about... Good. Good. Now I can put my water in there. Water? Okay. you got to get your pretty little hands out of there. Wash your hands up again. I want to do it with you. Okay. And see how this that is, friends? Good. How that... I've got it mixed pretty good. See that? Okay. Now you have to back up my sweetheart. Okay. There you go. I'll wash my hands. Okay. You wash your hands. And, and I'll leave the water on for you. No. You don't need to leave the water on for me. My hands are going to get all dirty in here. Okay, now with that, I'm just going to take and put in my one cup of water. And I'm just going to mix. And mix and mix. That's cool. Can I try? One no, more? I got it, honey. Is it getting sticky? It will. Because <laughs> I see it sticking to my your hands. Oh, it's sticking to my hand pretty good. What is it going to taste like? 
And we'll put a little more flour. You might find you need a little more flour, and that's fine. You can add more. Okay, get your fingers out of there, please. Okay. All right. I think that did it. I probably put another quarter cup in there. A little water? Nope. It's all good. Now, I got this big bowl. Okay, my sweetheart, you're right in my camera. There we go. I got this big bowl because I'll need it right in here with this. Excuse me. Cap ain't on. All right, a little more flour on this. And just keep kneading it a little bit till you have a nice soft dough. Actually, that is what I have. <coughs> so I can go there. I'm going to put just a little bit of flour down here. Okay, see that? That is going to be nice. And that butter with the shortening, that makes a really nice, nice dough. Okay. I'm going to break it up in hunks. Okay, now I will be ready to roll it out and start filling it. But first I need to clean up my little bit of mess I got here so I have room. I will be back. Okay friends, I am back. Let me put a little, I got my little pastry roller. And this dough is really soft and really nice. So keep it going in circles. It'll be beautiful. Okay. So we've got that. Okay, now we're going to fill this. I'm going to put a little bit more in there because I like mine full. Because they're going to cook down. So get that all wrapped up in there. Now... I'm going to slide it to the front a little bit. We're going to roll it up in there. Okay? Push down around it and then just start folding and rolling. All the way up and then this last one you just tuck under a little bit. And there is your cute little pasty. Perfect. Put it on your sheet. I already did one, so I got two of them on there. You can see how they look. I'm going to get the rest of them rolled up and done up, and then I'll be back and show you. Actually, I'll do one more for you. Make sure you got just a little bit of flour on there, just a dot. Okay. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Put this on there. like so. Push down. We got to run away. Push down a little bit and then just start folding. Just 
start rolling it under and it will turn out beautiful. And there you have it. One more. Real easy to do. Okay, so I'm going to get the rest of these done and when I get them all done, I'll be back. Okay, now these are all ready to go in the oven and you know what? I didn't set my oven yet. So I'm going to set it at 350 and I'm going to do a little egg wash. I'll show you that. And I'll do that right now with a nice, pretty fresh egg. There we are. We're going to put just a little dot of water in here. Beat this up real good. Alright, that's set. Now we're just going to give these a nice little egg wash. These are going to turn out beautiful. I make these quite a bit. I love them. My family absolutely loves them. You can eat these with a little gravy on them, or you can eat them plain. You can just heat them up and eat them, you know, just like a sandwich. That's what they were intended for. The wives would make the husband lunches, and they would make these pasties. And the whole reason for the thickening around the edges is that's where they'd hold them. So it, it works out, it works out good. And they loved them. And sometimes they would have them do one with, you know, a sweet so that they could have a dessert for their lunch. And then, any, and then any hot coffee or anything they had in their lunch box would go under these and it would keep them warm. And they'd have a nice meal because, you know, we all know that miners get dirty and they could, you know, hold that edge without getting dirt in our food. So there we are. We got those going. As soon as my oven is preheated, I'm going to put those in. I'm only going to do these for 30 minutes in this oven because they are going in the freezer. So when I take them out of the freezer, I'll turn my oven on to 350 and pop them right in there frozen at 350 for another half hour and bingo, you're done. Fantastic. So I will show you these when I get them out of the oven. Okay, friends, there's all my pasties, and they're half-baked. That's funny. Anyway, I'm going to put them in the freezer. There's some more in a pan down there. I'm going to put them in a freezer and uh, flash freeze them, and then I'm going to vacuum pack them, and we're going to be all set for the freezer. We'll have pasties for a while. My total amount was 27 pasties, and they are a pretty big size. Look at my hand. So they're, they're about as big as my hand. They're wonderful. And these are good. I usually take and make a gravy to put over them. They're fantastic. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.